Good afternoon to you all and you welcome to this event. And like in furtherance of our effort to make sure we discharge our duties as expected of us, we have been able to record some achievements in combating violent crimes in the Federal Capital Territory and in other states across the country. In another glorious day for the force of gold, another glorious day for the Nigerian police force, and glorious day for our country, Nigeria. Today, we will be giving a brief on several significant police operations conducted by the Nigerian police force intelligence and tactical team. The Department of Force Intelligence, IOT, and the Federal Capital Territory Anti-Violent Crime Section. These commendable operations have led to the arrest of dangerous criminals involved in various heinous crimes and recoveries of illicit arms and ammunition, as well as other illicit items across the country. As you are all aware, that on 9th of January 2024, we had a press briefing where we paraded a total of 67 suspects for various crimes across the country, and we promised not to relent on our efforts to attack every form of criminality in the country. I am proud to announce to you today, 20th January 2024, that we have kept and we are still keeping this promise. The result of our relentless fight against crime is surely paying off, as we will all witness here today. In today's press briefing, we have a total of 16 suspects 
arrested by the gallant operatives of the intelligence response team and the anti violent crime session of the FCT. And I've been informed again that the anti kidnapping session of the Federal Capital Territory has arrested some suspects who are going to be on display here today. Those suspects have all given their confessional statements and are still providing our pictures with more relevant information to aid in the apprehension of other criminals and the further tackling of crime and criminality. We have, all, we have also recovered today a total of five AK-47 rifles, 11 pistols, two pump action guns, one English made Barretta pistol, 65 rounds of 7.62 mm life ammunition, that is for AK-47, and seven rounds of 9 mm life ammunition for Barretta pistol from the apprehended suspect, which will serve as exhibits for prosecution of these various cases as a window. It's important for us to know that barely for this, the IGP launched the special interventions called for the Federal Capital Territory. These achievements started rolling in. The first case we'll be revealing today is a case of criminal conspiracy, kidnapping, and armed robbery. The suspects involved are Idris Ishaku, a.k.a. Yellow, male of 27 years. Are we having Yellow here? Can the IPOs of all these cases be a standby and bring their suspects one after the other as their names are being announced? Bala Umar, male 27 years, and Dairo Salis, a male. 27 years. These ones are those we picked on 16th of January in connection with the kidnapping in Buari, local government area of the Federal Capital Territory. On the 15th January 2024, the commander had to receive credible intelligence that the GSM number under surveillance belonging to one of Joe Sechako, aka Yellow, male, made a call to another number informing the recipient of the call of his plans to carry out a kidnapping operation at Degian House and further stated that he had invited some other kidnapping gangs who are promised to execute this operation with him. On the 16th of January 2024, Idris Ishaku, AK Yellow, called another GSM number belonging to another, who was later identified as Dogo, and informed him that the civil servant in their captivity is a very wealthy man with a lot of assets and should not be released for any sum less than 50 million naira. He further stated that he is still surveilling one other polytechnic named withheld for security reasons, located in major states, in order to kidnap students, which will give them more money. On the 17th January 2024, operatives of higher arrested Idris Ishaku, Bala Umar, and Iro Saliso. Real investigations show that this group has been involved in several kidnapping operations in the Federal Capital Territory, including some that have occurred in the Bari Aziz of the Federal Capital Territory. Our patrons are currently intensifying efforts to rescue the stage in their captivity and make sure other members of this gang are apprehended immediately. There's no need to them face, let them face. Me and cameramen will have agreement on what to do. You've got to blunt their faces. Let them, let them see. 
Where is yellow? Can we remove the nose mask? Can you speak pigeon? I just speak sumo sumo. I see. This one sumo is okay for us. Where you come from? From Buari. Okay. You they you they live from Buari. I think you come from somewhere. I can't do something for Buari. I come from from Buari. I there for Buari. Yes. That's where you they live. Yes. You don't marry. I don't marry. You not get pigeon. No, I know yet. What will be the job? What do you do for Buari? Which job will you do? What thing will they do? Take job. Me, I am farming. I am security. Then I am caught. Money come make me enter this. this problem is kidnappers. Oh, you do do kidnap again now? Yes. How many you don't do before now? Two, two. I do. I do one. This year two. This year, don't do two. Yes. How much now they collect from those people who are they carry? The first one of Kuchiko Wari, now collect 600,000. Then the second one, now collect 500,000. They from the Wari Arab. Then the last one is the man who is for Gara, who is Nepabi. When I don't carry out, when I never collect the money. Okay, when I never collect the money. Yes. When you see the gun, what do you use? Now? The gun. Bitter. Bitter. No, I know, I know half gun. I know half gun, but they enjoy me with the people. When we, that is we get gun. gun. We, we get gun. They enjoy, they enjoy me with the people with the gun. I go to the call them, make them come. What do do this business? <laughs> He, he, he is in the gang, he participates in kidnapping, and in most cases, he goes on Ricky. You enter very time to take note of those that have kidnapping value, that have money that can actually cough out ransom. So you inform them again. I want to pick them from Bari. They know how to take them across to the border communities linking to Kaduna Aziz. He's a very strong very, very strong kidnapper. And I want to say, without missing word here, that with this one with us, we would have a sign of relief in the federal capital territory because he's a strong kidnapper. And we have placed him on surveillance for a very long time. But we are very happy to announce that he's here with us in our five star hotel. Uh, where we take care of him and before we take no restriction on prosecution. Give the mic to the next person, please. This one, the spirit. Where we talk, here, the words go, they enter here as they talk. What is your name? Dairo Salisu. Where you come from? From Abuya, Buari. Now, Buari, you just say, Abuna, you come from another place, Costa for Buari. Now, Buari, I stay. Which time you enter, you join a kidnapper? Which time? Which year? How do I know you're in Guinea? Okay, can, can somebody talk it? Okay. See, Nechi Musu, Kagani The camp where these kidnappers used to come and hold their meetings before they go and perpetrate their. their okay, that's all right. right. Get me another place. You can see them. These are the people that are interacting some of our communities in Abuja, particularly Bwari. They all reside in Bwari, and I want to say. Possibly, many of them have planted themselves in various communities across the federal character territory. So I want to urge our landlords, landladies, community leaders, estate managers, to always take note of those we want to adopt into our various communities. Don't jump at them as a, as a landlord that you have seen tenants. I want us to adopt this method now in the Federal Capital Territory of profiling whoever that wants to rent any facility, any property from us. Always work with the police, work with other security agencies, particularly the DSS. We have certain information about one of these people. If they come around, they want to rent any apartment, any facility from you, please contact us for adequate profiling.
is that how we started doing this in the federal capital territory and by extension in all our communities across the country. What they have been doing is to groom themselves, plant themselves in various communities, and all they do is to get the money to support. Go and rent an apartment where you're going to ride. You don't be surprised many of them have very, very expensive apartments that ordinarily you think they cannot afford to even pay the rent. But the government money is a, a strategy to use to plant them in that place. So we want all of us to please be vigilant. Let us work with security agencies to profile and find out who is this tenant that I want to accept to my property. The second case we want to have today is arrest of harm, robbery, and kidnapping suspect. Chinese are Philip Okwe Michael, 28 years, male of Zawa village, Abuja. This is the case that already gone viral. But we are here today to clear the hair and, of course, punch out some insinuations that the police has killed this young man to silence him and cover some facts. This time around, with the launching of SIS, the game has changed. There's no need to do cover up for anybody. There's no need for us to deceive Nigerians when we have cases like this. So for those who have been telling rumors on social media, listen carefully now. He's still alive there on the stretcher because he was hit by the bullets during the operation. But he's there on the stretcher, gentlemen of the place you can see. And on 17th January 2024, at about 7pm, the complainant's name we thought, I don't want to mention his name here, was adopted from his house along with his illness van, with registration number RBC 90 dl gray color, by four armed men who disguised as in a white Mercedes Benz 230 car. The victim was to be taken to Kano State. But they stopped at Kaduna, where they dispossessed the victim of his ATM cards, of which the sum of 500,000 naira was transferred from his account. But they ran out of work as they were intercepted by police operatives at a police station in Kaduna. Three of them escaped, while one by the name Chinaza Philip Okoye Michael was arrested and the said Ilo's van was recovered. It was discovered that two out of the said four armed men are Abuja based. Chinaza Philip Okoye Michael and one Tidu Bere. It was also discovered that Chinaza Philip Okoye Michael and his accomplices had earlier been arrested sometimes in November 2023 and charged for similar offenses at High Court, Kuali, Abuja, but currently on bail, I think he's, he was granted bail, he's now on bail, but now went back to committing even worse crimes while on court bail. And this is to tell people that are making solutions again that he's not a kidnapper, we are saying it again, and I wanted to put it on record that Chinaza, Philip, Okoye, Michael, is a notorious kidnapper. This is not the first time. He's even in court, but he's on bail. Yet he went ahead to go and kidnap this man on that fateful day. He's there on a stretcher. If you want to see him, you want to see him. The news has already been broken. Is in the news? Was arrested in Kaduna, but handed over to FCT command for further investigation and prosecution, because the tradition of that offense falls within the federal capital territory. The next case is arrest of hand robbery, culpable homicide, and terrorism suspects. Hussein Hassan, a.k. Malan B, 54, 
Dudu Musa Gude A.K. Madaki 47. Our protest of RT on the 5th January 2024 arrested the day of Hosseini Hassan and Dudu Musa, both from Plato State. During the course of interrogation, they confessed their active participation and involvement in the attacks that led to the death of scores of human beings of our beloved Nigerians around Bokos, back in Ladi, among the local government areas of Plato State. The suspects have given useful information on the whereabouts of their three members. And for you to know that the same special intervention squad run by the Special General Police on 29th of December 2023 in Plato State is active, and that's why we are going after all these elements one after the other. The IRT is a key unit of the force that relies so much on technology to apprehend suspects in all areas, particularly when it comes to issue of kidnapping, armed robbery, and the likes. So we have this day, we are day, you see my son? Sure, we decimate this criminal element back to our various communities. Hussein, Hussein Hassan, where you come from? From Plateau. Where in Plateau? Bokos local government, Davo district. Bokos? Yes. You'll be in between, or Bokos, I think you'll be visitor. I'm an indigenous of Bokos local government, but I'm still in Davo district. So why are you going to do this uh, killing? killing what do you do? Uh, no, sir, I don't know that thing. Completely. What are you going to do? What did they do? Police are just What I know, just only what I know. So soon they mean Kamusiaro, which is Subang had in K, Nimazan Bassa in K. Collect my mouth for him. What is what is certain? Like I said, I would always move towards forensic investigation analysis of events. For at this level we are now in the place, we have the equipment to do what we want to do scientifically. So whatever that must have been picked by our tactical teams has been fingered in that particular crime. So whether you are here to say you do or you don't do, is it material? We have you here, and we have credible evidence against you. But I don't want to reveal anything here now because the case is still on with us. They actually brought him today, even we are doing on the field, taking us to some places. They were brought back this morning for this press briefing. I'm sure when we pick other members who think they are safe wherever they are, we are still coming back to do proper analysis of this case. And one pending that involves one prominent Nigerian again, we are still coming back with all those cases uh, so that Nigerians can know that in security business, we trust no one. Return them, please. The next case is a case of arrest of gun running suspects. We are not interested in this case because these one are trained experts and they are to gun running. We believe if you break the powers of this cartel of gun runners, I will battle to win these violent crimes are almost 80% successful. If they are not harmed, they are nobody. I imagine this tiny one now who face me and ask me to go to the bush with him without any harm. I will take him, and we are going to fight. So we are taking two things very serious. The issue of gun running and use of drug. If they are not on drug and they are not armed, they are not, they are only very gentle. Very, very gentle. Like if I would be, would be shrine. But when they are armed and when they are on drug, they are something else. 
So we are constantly working with relevant ministry department and agencies to see how we can control this issue of gun running and the use the sensor abuse of drugs. So NDL is working with us in our levels and the IGP has given matching order to our narcotic unit of the first criminal investigation department doing some in Alagba to do something with us and we work with other agencies to see how we can actually continue to fight this battle of misuse of drug and abuse of drug. And gun running is a critical thing. You collect that the last time we paraded, I think, two of them or three for gun running. We are getting them. We are getting them. And we shall be there. All we need is support from you to give us adequate information and belief in our system. We still have a system that works in this country. All we need is to be patient, be patriotic enough, and see working with the authority agencies as a civic responsibility. Ayuba, Council, Samuel, Musa, Magaji, Helvers, Silas, Audi, where are they? Are they there? Sir, for now, I have decided to cover this one face so that you know him. These are the people who are still working on them, please. So don't ask me to remove the nose mask. I don't know. I don't even know any nose mask here. Don't give him mic. Don't give him mic. No, I don't want him to talk for many reasons. Uh, we are still working on certain things. By the time he talks now, those people that they want to get me, me, me talk after the order. Because we believe by the time we tackle these ones, most of these criminally minded elements will not be harmed to carry out their activities. He's a trained person who knows how to handle things. He's a big boy in his own, in his own kingdom. This is number one man who has sold more than oh, I don't know many guns. In hundreds, there are still guns in hundreds. This one. Yeah, where's, where's the name? What is his name? Magaji Everest. No. He has sold guns in hundreds. And that is the truth. We have recovered some of the guns and the ammunition. Those are the pictures, pictures we, are, we are going to see on the deck there. We are going there shortly. We have recovered. We continue to recover. We need to work with some, with some cartels, with some agents and guns again. We are going to get them. And for those who fabricate again for them, we are going after those who are fabricating these guns. I know many of us in Nigeria who are talented, we are very, very brilliant, but I think we can use our talent towards a positive direction to assist this country, not to cause more harm to us in Nigeria. Returning, please. For me, alone, eleven pistols and many rifles, some portions have been recovered from him. I'm rubbing with nothing. I'm going running again. Another one. Usman, Yunisa, Samila, Aruna. Are they there? Bring those, bring them now. On the 17th day of January 2024, at about 8 a.m., credible information intelligence was gathered from a law abiding engineer of this nation who, who pleaded anonymity, of course, we are not going to disclose your identity, that some Dread and all the ten time criminals who specialize in terrorizing Kogi State, Kaduna State, FCT, and other parts of northern Nigeria have had their hideout at Obajana, village in Kogi State. The crack team of IRT was immediately detailed for investigation. The operatives responded swiftly and swung into action by moving down to that location. They succeeded in arresting one small minister 
and one Samila Aruna. I recovered two AK-47 rifles from them. Both suspects voluntarily confessed the crime committed. While effort is still ongoing to arrest the remaining members of the syndicate who are currently at large. We know how to get them and we are closing in on them. We are going to get them as soon as possible. Remove the something, Dollar. Remove the something. Give a mic. Can you speak English? You hear that one? No? Where do you live? Where do you stay? Abajana. Abajana. Are you from Kogi State or you just live in Abajana? You are from Kaduna? Okay. Why, why are you here? Why were you arrested? I'm coming in. 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 How many of you are in the gang? Five. Five of you. How did you get to the gang? I Bello. Bello. I Bello. I got to the gang. Okay. How did you meet all these guns? Where did you meet? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Any Najana Samus Chan or Bajan? A coughing band and Naja Champang Sakin, I own a woman. I in a tomb coughing. Send me a case with your Bajan. She Nakoma and Chana Sami, who were in Chanta Sama. They all met there. How did you coordinate yourself? Were you calling one by one or just how did you do it? Ah, ah, Nina Jena Sami is one of the little Musa, the little one. Okay. That's all. Work. For kidnapping. Yes. Or for farming. For kidnapping. They were already there before he came. For kidnapping. Okay. Gentlemen, on the press. I have been informed that this was among those who attacked the is it Kaduna bank train some times ago when many were attacked in the train at Regina. Am I right? It's one of them. It's one of them. But I always say every offense committed leaves a trace. You can only run, but you cannot hide. We will surely get you. Thank you, Usman. We shall meet again. Do you want to interview the partner? There's no need, no. There is something. In this case of criminal conspiracy, a lot of possession of retail firearms, ammunition, and attempted hand robbery. Mukta Usman Abdullah, Usman Mohammed, Abaka Mohammed. Are they here? This case is a very sensitive case that we are working on. In October 2023, at about 8 p.m., 
We got information from Divisional Police headquarters in Zuba, Abuja. That a suspicious movement of new faces believed to be criminal elements were noticed by a trader at the food market Zuba. This is community policing. That person was selling his food. Noticed strange movement alerted the DPO of that local area. This is how it should be. Immediately, a team was deployed to the area of covert operation. We had arrested one Muktaus man at the line of Dakwal village of Buja with one AK-47 rifle. If they have not noticed that moment, if nothing has been done, perhaps you could have used this AK-47 to perpetrate evil acts that must have led to death of many innocent souls in the country. The AK was loaded with 30 rounds of ammunition of 7.62 mm left ammunition. While other four bloods escaped, the arrested suspect led to the operative to his place of residence where one is Mom Mohammed and uh, Abu Bakr Mohammed both men were arrested. The house was searched and two additional AK-47 rifles it's, and 35 rounds of 7.62 mm life ammunition together with one English made Barretta pistol with seven rounds of 9 mm life ammunition were recovered. Just that singular move made by an innocent Nigerian, a patriotic Nigerian, has led to the arrest of all this and recoveries of all this. It is important we take note and know that our duty is to share relevant information with our security agencies and take notes of certain things, strange things around us. The operative demonstrated the commitment of the force under the mobilization of the IGP. Now I also recruit that the junior police force will not relent in its, uh, to ensure that our country becomes a safe haven for us in this country. We we'll continue to combat crime and criminality without ceasing or taking a rest. Let me say here again that I want the anti kidnapping team of FCT to give me the names of the suspects we have brought forward. You just brought them in now. If you have them, I want the list. Then these, these ones. Events. They are helping us to do so many. They have been picked and we are working on them. Like I said earlier on, that I want our residents in the Federal Capital Territory and anywhere across the country take note of those that want to accept as guests. Not all guests you see are actually real guests or visitors. That our culture of accepting Tom, Dick, and Harry is, must be revealed at this point in time. These ones have been accepted to a community, but behold, they are terrorists, and we should take note of that. We want you to always please watch those and profile those you want to accept into your community as tenants. It is very, very important. Can we take the leave and let's have another one? Let that be the last case I'm going to showcase today. We want to assure you that with the launch of Operation, the Special Interventions Court for the Federal Capital Territory, we want to assure the residents of the Federal Capital Territory, particularly the suburbs, that we are there to flush this criminal element out of this territory. FCT is having a sign of relief. In the last four, five days, the battle has been very hot and it is paying off. We want to assure you that the IGP is taking all these steps to make sure we sustain the operations of our men of the Special Intervention Squad. 600 plus personnel 
have been deployed and don't forget that SIS to have 1,000 personnel. So the RGT is mapping up additional man, man, manpower to support the one we have in the Federal Capital Territory. We want to urge our traditional rulers, local government chairman, committee heads, to please partner with the police and other security agencies. Other operations will be floated, and all these operations will work per so to make sure we restore normalcy to the federal capital territory and by extension to all our communities across the country. The message from the RGP once again is we want you Nigerians to please be on the same page with us. Support all our security operatives who are on the field fighting this battle so that we can collectively succeed in making sure we have a more secure environment for all of us in this country. To these hands that we have recovered, these are the hands we have recovered. The zona, this is for the military or the custom. They use this map. They use this map. <laughs> you can see oh, five, five pistols. Then we can use to rob and take people away. You can see it again. You think it's important. It's locally made. See how beautiful it is. You can see again. I will be here. We don't recover another one. This is it. And our job again is to make sure you work the NSA. To train this. They are not licensed, they are legal weapons. You can see all of them brand new. So we are working on how to get sources of some of these things. You can see all the pistols you come out from them. They sell all these. All these are English pistols. And I'm sure this ones definitely belong to one security agency or the other. Perhaps police pistol will be there. And forces pistols. All of us are use arms. We know how to go about it so that we can actually trace the source to know the original owner of these weapons and return to them. We have a process and we cannot trace all these the owners. Then we will get back to the office of the NSA. We always hand over some of these weapons to them at the uh, charter for control of uh, light arms and uh, small weapons. So we we'll, we'll go to them. And you can see. <laughs> and that's why we say there was information. All these all these cases now were actually premised on reliable information for people. Then we now continue from there to use our our forensic analysis to process this information to know how authentic they are. And it's, no, leave, 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 leave. He, he, like I said one time, he was he was on bail. He was tried to court for a similar offense. He's on court bail, as you see. Unfortunately, he got involved in another kidnapping case. And um, he was the one that was intercepted in Kaduna. I was sent by Kaduna police operatives, but yesterday they brought him back to Abuja for the FCT command to carry on with uh, the investigation and prosecution. To the four systems. Until you want. In case I brought you, you have to give a card to somebody? It was a number of people. The card was moved over. Yes. Okay. He's dead, he's alive, you can see. But our investigation will continue. I'm sure he's receiving necessary uh, attention from our medical personnel to give him treatment. 
and that's that's what we are doing now. So the FPO we can take him back to FC in the case we have and we continue with our investigation. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, good afternoon. This route we are is the bandit route from Oshafa. From here now, we move straight. We walk along the road. We have covered the road. From here now, they go to Pape. From Pape, they will enter into area like Maitama or Asokuru. So eventually, when they pick somebody, this is the route we are in now. If they pick somebody from Maitama or Asokuru or that area, Pape, they will go towards the back of Pape. If we follow this road now, we will follow straight. We will go along with you. We will enter Pape. You will be surprised how we will descend into Maitama. This is their route. What we have done here is to do a lot of deployments on the route because we have a lot of intelligence at our disposal. This is one of the biggest routes that we are inside the route now. How do they pass through here? Is it through vehicle, bicycle or motorcycle? They have a lot of motorcycle. As we go now, you will see. If they pick somebody, you will see where they used to keep their motorcycle. Once they use leg and drag the person into where they park their motorcycle, they use this route. So this route is through their motorcycle. Some farmers equally use this route to go to their farm. They now utilize it with their motorcycles to go through. This is where we are now. So there is DSS facility around here. So how come these people are using this place? No, please. I got on what I know is that this is a kidnapper's route, uh, a bandit route. So as we go along, we will check where they are. So, so when well, the operations will, will last for how long? Yeah. <laughs> it has no end. We have to secure uh, Abuja very well and its boundary areas. We went to Niger, we went to Kaduna area. We are heading towards Nasrawa before I was called. We are doing complete combing and complete picking and complete surveillance. Okay, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The IGP has made necessary development to deployment to assist FCT command. It was it got a time that people felt that the, the headquarters even was the one in charge of FCT. They've forgotten FCT as a command. But we noticed that there is there is, there is that need for the first headquarters to give support to the FCT command. And that's why the IGP launched the special right. intervention squad. That will be the second state or command that will enjoy that. The first was done on 29th of December 2023 uh, on the Plateau, in Plateau State, to support the people in that state. They have mapped out these routes, linking up to Kaduna, part of Niger, Nasarawa, and Kugi command. So we have shown you this, and the CP Bennett Igwemenai, the one in charge of this special operation in Federal Capital Territory, is the one that just addressed you. But the message the IGP is passing out now is that you are going to see our men hands to the seats. They are to protect you. Respect them. Do not attack them. Share information with them. If you don't share information with them, the job might not be so smooth for them. 
So we want to assure you and reassure the residents of the Federal Capital Territory that it is now the peace has come. And we are assuring other neighboring states that the IGP is going to replicate what it has done in FCT and in Plateau State. His intention of the intention of the IGP is to have SIS in all the 36 states. So we have two done already. We are talking of 35 commands more. Uh, we is going to get across to Niger, Nasarawa, Kaduna, Benue, Kogi, and other places like that. If you are flushing them out of FCT, we don't want them to assemble in any of the neighboring states. And that's why the battle will be taken to all those places. And we want to assure Nigerians very, very soon we get rid of all these hand bandits that are causing pains, sorrows, agonies to innocent Nigerians. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> <coughs> Because uh, 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 u